Hey, what's up guys? This is Tim Crater from Gladiators Academy at Lafayette, and I'm excited to announce to you guys a new course that we have. Um, we pride ourselves in having one of the most effective and efficient martial arts programs anywhere, that can be found anywhere. Uh, we teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, Wrestling, Mixed Martial Arts, Muay Thai, and when it comes to self-defense, um, we consider ourselves leaders in the industry. Um, but there are concerns that have been brought to us by a number of our students, um, myself, uh, many of the families that train with us on a desire to have another level of safety. And by another level of safety, I mean we've seen things happen within our community, within our state, and within the country um, that have, on some level, put some level of fear into people. Um, things that, you know, interactions between people that may not necessarily be solved with self-defense. Um, and so some of our students, um, some of our instructors, and some of our staff have requested and been interested in us finding a basic pistol course, a weapons training course, a defensive tactics course. Um, and so I began the process of looking for somebody I felt could give us the highest level of quality in terms of uh, that genre. Um, I feel like it is martial arts. It is martial arts with a weapon, uh, with a number of weapons, and the training curriculum that I've found, the instructor I've found, will be able to meet all of our needs. And it starts December 22nd. Um, we're going to do our training on December 22nd. We'll give you the location in a minute, but let me, before we go any further, let me introduce the instructor. Eric DeLone, come on. Thank you, Tim. No problem. Eric has actually been with us, uh, training with us for over 10 years. Um, he came into Micah's Academy many years ago, before Gladiator's Academy was even open. Started training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, he's trained in Muay Thai. He's trained in a number of different martial arts. He has a military background, police background, government contractor. Um, I'm going to let him tell you a little bit more about himself, but he's someone I trust. He's someone who does this for a living. This is his real-life job. He teaches um, weapons. He teaches pistol, he teaches rifle, he teaches defensive tactics, and he teaches it to some of the best people in the world. Uh, let's hear a little bit more about him from Eric. Eric, thanks for coming. Did, did a pretty good job. <laughs> um, so it all started, I met Micah and Tim through my military and law enforcement experience. Um, I was an instructor in pressure point control tactics, in defensive tactics for law enforcement and military. I ended up in some situations that what they taught didn't work. I fell into jiu-jitsu and I just stayed with it. Um, since then, uh, I was in the military, and uh, I was in a ranger battalion, uh, so special operations unit, airborne, air assault, did all the, the awesome, cool stuff with the military. Um, it led me into law enforcement. In law enforcement, I was on a SWAT team, had a police canine dog, uh, did a lot of shooting, a lot of training, um, started my jiu-jitsu, used it on the street, was in several um, you know, engagements, firearm engagements, a uh, lot, of, lot of physical engagements, uh, got to test this stuff out. In the last 10 years, I've been a security contractor for the government, training firearms, defensive tactics, and room entry dynamics, or CQB, for all branches of special operations guys going overseas. I've deployed to Afghanistan, Iraq. I've been to countries that we technically aren't even supposed to be in. I've been all over using this stuff. Um, and what I basically came up with was we have a system here in the United States for people carrying guns that isn't effective. We want to have a gun, but we don't want to be good at using it. So I designed my curriculum around winning a gunfight. So from the very start, from being a beginner, learning the fundamentals of marksmanship, we start with carrying the firearm. We start with having the proper firearm, and we do it in a tactical way that you can continue to build on that and actually survive a high-threat situation. So what's the point of having a gun if you can't survive it? Is, is, is the idea. So that's really what we're doing. Um, it can be from a beginner to an experienced guy. I still kind of learn things about myself as I go through these classes. I do demonstrations and shoot. Um, I've designed this curriculum with some of the best shooters I've known, guys who have been shot by snipers, guys who have done the shooting as snipers. Um, you know, a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge has gone into this curriculum specifically. And so I'm just excited to be able to start teaching it to civilians. It is my business. It's what I do. I started my own company two years ago. Um, mostly up until this point, it's been individual uh, private instruction. It's been very successful. 
I just would like to get it in a, a larger scale. And this is, you, you know, Tim's given me the opportunity to kind of put this into a, opening it up to a, a wider range of people. And I think it's going to be exciting and enjoyable for sure. Yeah, I think, uh, as you can see, a lot of concealed carry courses, what they do is they show you how to hold the gun. They take about two hours to show you how to fill out the paperwork. Um, you disarm, uh, you discharge five shots, and you're pretty much done. Um, in my opinion, that's an ineffective way to put a firearm in the hands of a civilian who doesn't have the proper training to uh, wake up in the middle of the night, load their firearm, navigate through their home, and assess a target, and uh, dispatch of them if necessary. Uh, those things are not covered. That mental preparation, um, that CQB skill, uh, that target assessment, those things are never covered in concealed courses. So we've taken the opportunity to, of course, we're going to have our eight-hour basic tactical pistol course, but there will be six one-hour classes. They may go over an hour. Uh, we're just going to get all the content in, uh, in consecutive Saturdays after the uh, course is over. And those things will cover a variety of topics that we'll go through. So please sit back and let me explain to you what we're going to be doing with this course. Eric and I will explain what we're talking about here. Um, the basic tactical pistol course, like I said, will be December 22nd, 2013. Um, we've contracted the Iberia Parish Gun Range. And they, that's where we'll be holding the class. They have a classroom there for us and a range for us. After that, our continued education trainings will happen here at Gladiators Academy on Saturday starting in 2014. And when you come to the course, we'll give you the full schedule for 2014. Um, but I would like to explain the completion of this course certificate. When you complete the course, you'll get a certificate. And that is the course that is required for you to get your concealed carry license. To get your concealed carry license, you have to fill out some paperwork. You have to submit a background check. Uh, you have to get it notarized and then there's a concealed carry fee that you have to submit to the state of Louisiana. We'll give you the basics of how to do all that stuff and, uh, and then if you need help, of course we'll help you. Um, but those are the fundamental things, elements that you need to get a concealed carry permit. This course is one of the main things that must be done. After that, it's a lot of paperwork. Um, the concealed carry licensing paperwork and procedures will be covered in this course. I just want to let you guys know that we will cover that. Um, stuff and I'll be available and uh, Eric may be available for questions about that stuff afterwards. Uh, the majority of this course though is gun handling, gun ownership, and how to be comfortable with the firearm. Okay, Eric's going to go into what the course on December 22nd will cover. Go ahead, Eric. So the topics we're going to cover in the class basically are going to give you everything you need to carry the weapon comfortably. Um, and then the continuing education, continuing training, that good footing is going to give you the opportunity to really get good at it. Uh, safety, always a priority. We're going to emphasize safety from the minute you show up to the range through every follow-on course. Um, you have to be comfortable handling a weapon. You need to know safety requirements. You need to know how to do it, what makes it dangerous. So then we're going to go on our weapons handling. How to hold it, how to use it, how to deploy it, how to carry it, our draw, how to get it out of a holster and engage a target. And then our presentations, that's going to be how we actually point the weapon, okay? Fundamentals of marksmanship. The seven things you have to know to shoot any firearm. They're going to remain the same, whether it's a slingshot, shotgun, rifle, it doesn't matter. We're going to do it with a handgun, and we're going to do it tactically. The way we stand, the way we grip a gun, the way our position is going to be introduced, it's all based off of high threat reaction. How a person naturally will respond to a high threat situation. Load, unload, and reload procedures. A gun's no good if we can't do those things, so we're going to make sure that happens. Immediate action. How to get our gun back in the fight. If we hear about it all the time, somebody pulls a firearm out, uh, police, military, it happens to these guys who train a lot, squeeze the trigger, nothing happens. What do you do? We're going to do that. We're going to cover that. Use of force, legal concerns, and then concealed carry procedures. This will be valuable. Um, where you can carry, what are your legal, um, you know, Requirements. What do you have to worry about from the perspective of carrying a weapon? Okay, so we're going to go through all of the, all of these things in this class, um, and we're going to spend a lot of time on the range practicing it for sure. And that and that's a big difference. A lot of concealed carry courses, you know, you shoot a couple bullets and you're done. And in Eric's opinion, in my opinion, that is not an effective way to put a firearm in the hands of a citizen and release them on the on the public. Okay, it's just not. And so we're going a step above. 
And beyond that, we're going to offer six one-hour training classes here at Gladiators Academy to create more comfort for you and for your family. And the fundamentals of some of the topics that we're going to cover are going to change the way you approach your firearm. So these are going to be six one-hour follow-ups. Again, let's cover where. This is going to be at the Iberia Parish Gun Range. When you register for this training, we'll send you a follow-up email with how to get there, the map, all the instructions, everything that's required. Required for this course are a combat pistol, a holster for your pistol, and 100 rounds of ammo. Some of you right now are asking yourself, what is a combat pistol? Well, a combat pistol would be, Eric, what is a combat pistol? Combat pistol is a, a pistol you would use in, a, in an engagement. It's not a decorative gun. It's not a It's not your grandpa's, gra grandfather's pistol from World War II. That's right. Don't bring that. It's not a, a super micro com little tiny pistol that you can put in your pocket that you can't actually shoot more than once. Right. Okay? We need a firearm that we can do reloads with. We can ac accurately engage a target because if we can't hit the target accurately, there's no point in us learning how to shoot. So a combat pistol is going to be... You know, I, I use a Glock, I'm a Glock guy, I have SIGs, there's a lot of quality firearms out there. If you have any questions, it's very simple. Email us, tim at gladiatorsla.com. Uh, if I can't answer your question, I'll send it on to Eric and we'll get your question answered. Uh, if you're looking, where do I buy a gun, why do I buy a gun, you have to know how to buy a brand new gun. No, you don't have to buy a brand new gun. There's a gun show happening, I think, this weekend in Lafayette, Louisiana. You can get a a Glock 17 that's slightly used for about 350, 400 bucks. Um, and those, the reason Eric liked Glocks, I like Glock, they're dependable. They work, you can bury them, you can pick them up, and then you can keep firing them. They're kind of like those old AK 47s. They work. Um, they're not very complicated, they're pretty simple. There's not a ton of moving parts. They're easy to take apart, they're easy to clean. Um, it's a good firearm. Um, but if you have questions, please email us, tim at gladiatorsla.com. I want to move on to the training evolutions that will happen after the basic tactical pistol course. These training evolutions are included in the course. Um, this course is called the High Threat Survival Course by Eric. Uh, it's going to cover basic building clearing techniques, how to navigate an environment inside a building with a firearm to keep yourself safe and to interdict targets, um, close quarter target engagement, how to get through that building, assess a target, and fire if need be. And, and you know, that's, that's a lot more difficult than you think. Um, and, and understanding safety in that environment is, is, is real. Uh, because when you're navigating your home, um, there's loved ones there as well. And so understanding how to navigate threats is very important. Uh, moving and shooting. It would be great if you could just stand there and fire all the time, but unfortunately that's not how the real world works. You're going to have to move in and out of things. You're going to have to move in and out of cars, in and out of buildings. you got to move around your house, and sometimes you got to shoot while doing that. That is a higher level of training uh, than we cover in the tactical pistol course. Um, and so he's going to cover that as well. And then we're going to start combining everything together. The combined skills assessment is to put all the things we've been learning to one, into one block of education and see how we do in certain environments. See how we do with our firearms in environments when we're navigating through a home and assessing targets. Um, in my opinion, that is the real value of this course, is understanding that if you have to, you can do it because you've done it. That is what will always trump what you think, right? As a mixed martial artist, I can tell you that if I have to fight, I know I can but I know I can because I already have. Jiu-Jitsu is effective because we practice every day and we do it every day. Arm bars work because I do them every day. And it's the same thing for this stuff. It's no different. You will be confident because you've done it. You've navigated a building. You've assessed targets. You've held your firearm properly. You've been safe. And that is going to give you a true nature of the ability to be effective with your firearm. Um, we're also going to go into weapons retention. And then the final course is going to cover some hand-to-hand -hand combatives that he learned um, on his own in the military and the police force and everything he's put together uh, that will include some knife and stick fighting stuff and how to deal with a person with a knife or with a stick or how do we do that, how do we do that with a gun, how do we do that without a gun, all those types of things. All right. So as you can see, the education is jam-packed. We're super excited to have Eric. Um, Eric wanted me to discuss a couple extra things. 
Later on in the year, in 2014, we're going to offer a couple extra courses um, that will continue our level of education. Uh, those will be our advanced tactical pistol training, um, a basic tactical rifle training, advanced tactical rifle training, defensive tactics while armed. Um, all of those types of trainings are advanced stuff. You know, we're getting into people being able to be comfortable in their own skin, in their own home with weapons um, that are dangerous. And in my opinion, there's no other way to, to do this. You must learn from a professional. And Eric is a, a high-level professional, and we're excited to have him. Thank you for coming, Eric. Do you have anything else to say? I don't. I'm excited. This training is going to be outstanding, and I think it's going to maybe open some people's eyes to, you know, one, how good you can be with a firearm, um, but then if you don't know anything about it, I mean, realizing that it is an effective tool. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. Mine's always number one. Right? Yeah. And no one has ever done any course like this in Lafayette or, or any of the around area. I've never even heard of a course like this. We've designed it specifically because there's a need. And we've designed it around what do people actually need to know to be capable with firearms. Um, and we're so lucky to have Eric. So let me just cover a few guys. Everybody that's wondering, I'm sure you're wondering, what's the price of this course? It's got to be $1,000 for eight hours with somebody who is this... Um, educated both militarily with the police department with he's also an NRA instructor um, and then of course all of these six hours of training as well well it's Christmas time I understand that and we're gonna offer a Christmas discount it's only gonna be for gladiator students $249 and that's for the whole thing it includes your range time it includes all hours plus the next six hours that's 14 hours of training with an elite level professional who's been there and who's done that that's not something you can find in a concealed carry course anywhere in the state um, if you're not a student we're going to offer it for $299 okay so $249 students $299 non-students we only have 15 spots we'd love to have as many of as you can we will offer another one of these maybe in March or maybe in April, depending on how many, uh, how many people don't get into this one. So please go down the screen, register yourself. We'll send you a follow-up email with all the information you need. If you have any questions, please email me, tim at gladiatorsla.com, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Oh. Wait, dismiss this. <laughs>